is that they were at a dental appointment this morning. They returned home and noticed the back gate to their yard open. They went into the backyard and found a window at the back of the house broken out. Uh, the male told the female to wait there. He went around to the front of the house, opened the front door with a key where he was struck in the head by someone that was inside the house with, he believes, uh, a semi-automatic pistol. Uh, they demanded money, didn't get any money. That suspect ran away. Subsequent to that, the female resident believes she saw someone, a second person, looking out the window of the home. So that's why we're here with the SWAT team. Um, we're assuming that there's another suspect still inside that residence, um, but we don't know that at this point. The person that ran away uh, was seen running southbound from the resident here, went over a fence, um, and we have not located him, nor do we know who that is. So. Um, it's, impo it's possible that we have a second suspect in the area here somewhere. Uh, the SWAT team is going to do uh, the thing they do, which is plan, and they've got a description of the interior of the home, and they'll be making entry at some point in the near future to look for that uh, second suspect that we believe may still be in the home. There were reports of shots fired. Initially, this came in as a shots fired call to the city police, um, and I have not been able to determine at this, at this point um, whether shots were fired or where. Uh, that's one more thing that we've got to uh, figure out as we investigate this apparent residential burglary. Homeowner reported getting hit over the head with a gun. Have you recovered any guns? Did the suspects still have that? Is there an active shooter out there? You know, we haven't been to that yard. We don't know. What we know is we had an armed suspect, and so we're going to be uh, making entry into that yard and its curtilage, or that home and its curtilage, with the SWAT team. Uh, the patrol people basically got here, set up a perimeter, started calling for additional resources. Um, they, they weren't about to go in there and, and confront a potentially an armed suspect um, without some pre-planning.